Hi, I'm Melissa Simmons, and today I'd like to show you four books that my kids absolutely love. The first one I'm going to show you is this Peek Inside Beauty and the Beast book. This book has the, the typical story of Beauty and the Beast, but it, it's wonderfully illustrated, and it has beautiful cutouts as you turn the page, and you can see little windows that were there, and then the windows turn into picture frames on the other side of the page. It's really, the, the story is the typical story that we know, but it's just beautifully illustrated and it has these wonderful cutouts on every page. The next book is the I'm a Dirty Dinosaur. My four-year-old loves this book. We, it's almost like a song that we sing whenever, whenever we read it. Um, it starts off with, I'm a dirty dinosaur with a dirty snout. I never wipe it clean. I just sniff and sniff about. Then we sing sniff, sniff, snuff, snuff, sniff and sniff about. And it goes through and it has all, all kinds of rhymes and, and sayings. And it's like wash, wash. It's just cute. Really, really cute, fun book. And then my daughter has a Paris room, themed room. So she really likes this book because it has the Eiffel Tower in it. And this kitty cat, the, the typical nursery that we've heard was kitty or pussy cat, pussy cat, where have you been? I've been to London to visit the queen. Well, this is kind of a, a spinoff of that, of that um, rhyme. So this kitty cat tours Paris. And this book takes us through all of the shops and all of the streets on Paris. You probably want to um, Google the pronunciations when you read this because I don't know how to speak French. But the pictures are really, really beautiful. And it shows you all of the... All the scenes from Paris, and we love this. It's like an, it's a Eiffel Tower. It's so pretty. It's wonderful. She like she likes to read that book every day. And then my son, he's seven. He likes this, The Curious Case of the Missing Mammoth. He likes this book because it has so many little facts and everything in this book. There are little flaps, so you follow the storyline and. And then this is really neat because the doors open, so there's fold out pages. But his favorite part is when they're in the museum, they have all these little flaps where you can learn about. Um, there's Van Gogh, and it tells you about Van Gogh. And then there's the Queen of England, and she's right there. And all these little little books with, with little tidbits of information all scattered throughout this book is really, really neat. And it has, like, you know, 1969 Concord, it has the you know, information with that pilot. So this cram packed of information, nonfiction information thrown in with the actual fiction storyline. So any of those books are wonderful.